Hey everybody, Dr. Brett Schur, lowcarbcardiologist.com. I wanted to take a couple minutes today to talk about evidence and quality of evidence and science and data. And I know it's not the most kind of sexy topic or most exciting topic for a lot of people, but there have been a number of things that have come up recently that made me think about this. So the most recent was uh, this, this uh, live debate with Joe Rogan and Chris Kresser. <laughs> hey, Lisa, Lisa's watching. Um, so this live debate with Chris Kresser, Joe Rogan, and Joel Kahn that just happened on Joe Rogan's podcast. You can watch it on YouTube or listen to the podcast. And it was basically an open debate about the vegan versus the low-carb uh, approach to diet. And I got to say, I felt a little bad for Joel Kahn because he got pretty pretty soundly trounced um, by Chris Kresser when it came to the evidence, but also it's clear what side Joe, it's clear what side Joe Rogan was on, so it was almost like two against one, but, but um, Joel got pretty soundly trounced. But the reason is, is because his data doesn't hold up. He was, he's citing poor quality observational data, incorrect surrogate marker data, uh, so the quality of the evidence is so important, and that's what I want to strike home. People can say, well, the evidence says this. But your question has to be, well, what evidence? What is the evidence? What's the strength of the evidence? There's even one point in the debate where Joel said, observational study, good quality, bad quality, doesn't matter. And Chris Kresser jumped in and said, yeah, it does matter. And, and that's so disturbing that somebody would say the quality of the evidence doesn't matter because of course it does. So that was one example, the, that debate that made me think about this. The second example was there's a study recently that I wrote a, an article on for dietdoctor.com, so you can check it out there about the res this researcher who um, was caught basically falsifying data with very shady uh, experimental techniques. And what's interesting is you'd expect that if he were behind you know, Big Pharma or the Big Food Movement or something or the Processed Food Movement, but instead he actually sort of defends against those. He defends the common person. He's the one who wants to show how, how the food movement is um, purposely making things more addictive for us and making things more making us want to eat more. But he was caught doing data mining where he was encouraging his postdoc students to just go through reams of data and just try and find any association that works and publish it. And that's not how research works. But that's the data that's out there and is so prevalent. The third thing that made me think about this is funny how things come in three. This was also an article I recently wrote on dietdoctor.com about this mouse study that they did a whole bunch of studies in mice looking at giving them low fat, medium fat, high fat, low carb, high carb, a whole combination. And what they found was the high, higher fat diets in mice made them eat more, made them want to eat more and made them fatter. That was not the same for the, whole, uh, the high carb diet. So the conclusion was high fat diets make us fat. We can't make that conclusion. Of course, it was a mouse study. But here's the other thing. Not only was it a mouse study, but we have the exact opposite evidence in human studies. We have evidence that shows higher fat diets make you eat less, whereas in the mice it made you eat more. We have human studies that say higher fat diets make you lose weight, whereas in the mouse study it made you made them gain weight. So Again, quality of evidence is so important. So whenever somebody says, this is what the evidence says, or this is what the evidence has always said, you need to realize what's the quality of evidence. And that's hopefully where sites like dietdoctor.com, sites like my website at lowcarbcardiologist.com, that we can give you this type of approach to say, hang on, let's not just take things at the snapshot, at the clickbait, at the fancy title, but let's dig a little deeper and see what the evidence shows. So next time uh, anybody says this is what the evidence shows, say what evidence and what type of evidence is it, all right? Thanks for all the comments, Lisa. <laughs> I appreciate it. What'd you say? Yes, you have to question the evidence. Awesome. Thanks, Lisa. And I'll work on that mirror image. Sorry about that. All right. Have a great day, everybody. That's my two cents. Dr. Brett Scherer, lowcardiologist.com. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.